Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little witch's hat. Um, this is going to be for um, the little witch that I'm going to show you how to make in future videos. Um, but just for this specific video I'm just going to show you how to actually make the hat. I'm going to show you how um, to also make it even bigger if you wanted to make it for um, a Halloween costume or an, a child or an adult, I'm going to show you how to actually um, make this bigger. But um, it's going to end up looking like this because it's technically for our little witch. This little witch also comes with a little broom, her little broom that she flies on. And I'll show you how to do this in a future video too. I'm trying to get these done for Halloween so you crocheters have something to crochet for Halloween. These also make excellent little um, party gifts um, if you're having Halloween parties. So anywho, um, thank you for coming to watch. Um, I am doing a Facebook Live uh, that I will later download it onto YouTube. So if you hear me talking to people, um, that's why I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, maybe I am. But anyway, um, yeah, please like and share if you're on Facebook. Um, and um, there's a little notify button down there somewhere if you're on Facebook Live and you can press that and it'll let you know when I'm having a live video. Um, and if you're on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell. And also, please feel free to comment if you have any questions. And, um, yeah, so that's great. Okay, so let's get started. The materials you're going to need today really depend on what size hat that you're making. Um, if you're just going to be making it for this little witch, I am using a 4 point, uh, 4, well, hold on. A 3.5 millimeter hook which is an E and I am um, using some Karen Simply Soft in um, just a purple color but again um, I'm gonna show you how to increase to make this bigger within the video but I also want to tell you like I always do if you want to make this witch's hat bigger you need a, um, a bigger hook and probably some thicker yarn um, but a bigger hook and even this yarn would still work. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. Um, I have shown you how to do a magic circle in some other videos. Um, you can, I'm going to show you how to do two ways to do a magic circle today. Okay, there's this way where you hold the yarn down. I put it behind my pinky. Remember, your yarn is always down. And then I just put it right there. Then I pull my yarn up, wrap it around like this. Go underneath, pick up my yarn, and then grab this yarn right up here and pull through this hole. Well, <laughs> I can usually do that pretty quickly, but not today. So let's try that again. So again, your yarn's gonna be down. I'm gonna put it right behind my pinky to hold it in place. I'm gonna cross over like that. I'm going to go under there and pull up my yarn. And then I'm going to pull it through the loop, just like this. And then that is a magic circle, okay? If I know I did it correctly, the way I know is that the scraggly piece is moving my circle up and down okay um, not the working yarn but the actual little scraggly I call it a scraggly piece okay and then you can work whatever crochet that you need in the middle of this which for this we would need six but I'm going to show you an easier way to do a magic circle and that is you just make a slip knot you chain two and then I'm going to single crochet six in the first chain right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we are going to be working in the round. That means that I'm not going to slip stitch to close this, okay? Give me just a second. My yarn is trying to get all tangled up on me. Our six. And like I said, we're working in the round. So we're not going to slip stitch. 
and you're gonna see when you do it this way you're gonna see this little part right here and it looks like you would go into there but what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna go in right here because if we count back one two three four five and six so we know we need to put our hook into here okay so the first thing that we're going to do is just do we're gonna work right into here working in the round and it's hard I'm not gonna lie guys it's hard to get in this first um, this first stitch here you need to go under both just like that and you're just gonna do six around one two six single crochets three four five and six okay now what you want to do is um, if you want to use a stitch marker, this would be the time to use that. I'm going to use a piece of yarn. If you have one of your plastic stitch markers, you can use that as well. Um, but I'm just going to use a bright, different colored piece of yarn. Okay. So I'm going to put that in right where we last finished. Okay. So I'm going to go right in here. And that's gonna let me know, you know, where I'm at, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go around and we're going to put, um, we're going to put two single crochets into each around, okay? So we're not, we're right here, okay? So we're gonna go into the next one, okay? So we're gonna go right into here, working through both loops, and we're going to put one and two single crochets. Then we're gonna go into the next, making sure to go through both loops, and we're gonna put two. This would equal 12 when we're all done, okay? And it is a little hard when you're first starting out because it's such a small hook um, to get it all in there. I'm going to put two in the next. I'm going to put two in the next one. I hope y'all can see this yarn. Okay. And then we're going to pull our stitch marker out and that's where we're going to put our last two is right there okay so let's just count to make sure that we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 okay and you do count when you count backwards um, this space right here where your hook is on okay so I'm going to put my stitch marker back And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of shape this. I'm going to turn it in. This is what it looks like so far because I definitely want this on the outside. I don't want um, this. I don't want to be working with that facing. I want to be working with this outside facing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to do one single crochet around for a total count of 12. doesn't look much like a witch's hat yet but it will eight nine ten eleven and 
then pull your stitch marker out and you're going to put the last one in there. That's 12. Okay. Then we're going to put our stitch marker right back where we just stopped. And we're going to do another increase round. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch. And in the next one after that, we're going to put two. Then we're going to put one single crochet and then we're going to put two. Okay, so we're going to go right into our next stitch. Put one single crochet and then go into the next and do two single crochets. And just like that, there's one and in the next two. And then the next one and the next two. Okay, at this time I'm going to just um, the middle piece of yarn that was um, in the middle there, I'm just going to, not my stitch marker, but the actual middle piece, um, piece of yarn there, I'm just going to press it down into the middle of the witch's hat for now, so we don't get it confused. Okay. And then one, and then we're going to end on two. I'm sorry, I think I keep going off camera. Okay. So we finished that round and now we're going to put our stitch marker back. And now we're just going to do one single crochet around again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that keeps wanting to go through just the top one. Eight, nine, and I believe there's 18 single crochets in this round. And again, my yarn is just crazy. Give me just a second, guys. Okay. I don't even know which one I was on, but anyways, I think it's 18. So we're just going to keep doing single crochets all around. Just going to keep going all the way around. And the sun is um, coming in and out of my dining room, <laughs> so I hope y'all can see, because I can barely see the uh, my my camera screen. Okay. Okay. So now we're here at the end. We're gonna pull our stitch marker out. We're going to put our last single crochet there. And then we're going to put it back. And now we're going to do another increase row. And in this row, what we're going to do is we are going to do um, what I call one, one, two. <laughs> so you're going to do a single crochet and then you're going to um, do that twice. And then you're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch after that. So. That is what we're doing and my yarn is still literally guys from bringing it from my stash to in here it has literally got tangled up <laughs> okay so this is what I meant by one one two so we're gonna go into my next stitch we're gonna put one then we're gonna go into the next stitch put one and then into the next we're going to put two single crochets okay we're going to do that all the way around. 
one, one, and then two. And that's literally how I even write it out when I'm writing out a pattern. <laughs> so one, one, and two. Just gonna keep going with that till we get back to our stitch marker. When you get back to your stitch marker, you should end on two. And we did. So we're gonna take out our stitch marker. As you can see, we're slowly making a cone here. It's working out. And this last one, we'll put two. Okay. And we'll put our stitch marker back. Right back in there. And then again, we're just going to do one single crochet around. And I am still trying to untangle yarn. <laughs> okay, so we've got our stitch marker back and now we're just gonna do one single crochet all the way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, I think it's twenty four, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23 and 24 okay so that's what it looks like so far it's just like a little cone and there's a little piece that's sticking up there that's from where we did our um, our magic circle um, or our chain two magic circle <laughs> and when we get done here um, I will pull this through and show you how to fix that okay so that's normal Okay, but we're going to do one more round of increase. After that, I'm going to show you how to make this bigger if you want. And then I'm going to show you how to make a brim, okay, on your witch's hat. Um, you don't have to do a brim, um, but it makes it look cooler. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do three and two, which means I'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And in this next one, I'm going to do an increase of two single crochets in one spot. So again, one single crochet in the next two, another single crochet in the next, another single crochet, and in the next one, we're going to put two single crochets. So I call it the three and two. So we're gonna do that all the way around. One, two, and three, and then two. This hat that um, we're making right now fit, fits our witches, our witch that we're going to make perfectly. Um, so I did that. Um, I tried to make it large enough to fit the head perfect. So Okay, now we're at our stitch marker and we're going to put two there. I'm gonna pull that out Put two single crochets then put our stitch marker right back in there just like that okay now the last thing that we're going to do for this one is we're going to do one single crochet and then I'm going to show you how to do the brim but I want to tell you if you want to keep this going 
You can keep this going and make it bigger and bigger and bigger to fit an actual adult or child's head. And the way to do that would be to just simply keep increasing, okay? So what you've noticed we've done is we started out with six, then we did 12, then we did a one, two, and then we did a round of single crochets, and then we did a two, two, did another round of single crochets. So you would just keep increasing as you go up. So in my next one, what I would do if I wanted to make this larger, is I would do four single crochets, and then in the fifth, I would do two, and I would do that all the way around. And then the one after that, I would do five single crochets, and then do two, and so on and so forth. And when I show you how to do the brim, that is the same way. It's gonna be the same way for a large hat as it would be for a tiny one. So all you would be doing is literally increasing and increasing and increasing until it fits the size of the head that you're wanting to make it for. If you wanna make a bigger doll, if you wanna make a child's hat, whatever, or an adult, you just keep going until it fits. Um, the thing about a witch's hat also is when you're making it, a lot of people will make it smaller than they think it needs to be because of the brim, but you actually need to make it a little larger because when you put the brim on the head like this, it's going to come down a little bit. So you want it to fit loosely on the head, okay? So um, keep that in mind as you do that. So we're gonna move ahead now that you know how to make this up. And remember, do not use a hook this small to make a hat for a grown person or even a child. Use You could use this kind of thread. You could use a bulkier one if you want to go faster, but you definitely want to use a bigger hook, probably like a 5, 5.5. Um, so yeah, definitely want to get a bigger hook and possibly even a thicker yarn, okay? So what we're going to do to finish this up is we're going to do one single crochet all the way around. And we've got our stitch marker in. Okay, so again, we're just going around with one single crochet. And um, I'm going to be making uh, probably my next video. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to show you how to do the broom or if I'm going to um, uh, show you how to do the actual witches, the actual witch, the whole doll itself. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but it's coming. But this is our first step. So we've reached the end here. We're going to pull out our stitch marker, put our last single crochet right here of this round. Then we're going to put it back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our brim. And the way to make a brim um, stand out or go up when you see it going, you know, up like this. Um, I'm about to show you how to do that, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to work into only the front loop right here. You're only going to work into this front loop all the way around. So, working into this front loop, we're going to put a single crochet in each stitch around. Okay? So again, I'm only working through the front loop, just like that. Not through the back one, but through the front one. And it can be a little hard to get that worked in there because we are using a smaller hook. 
Um, if you're making this for a large person, um, it might be a little bit easier to catch these with a bigger hook. But we can do it. I hope everybody's having a fantabulous Saturday. Look at this, look at that. <laughs> From my room to the dining room, literally, that's, that's how long it takes to get some tangled up yarn, guys. Okay, so again, we're still working into this front loop, front loop closest to you. I hope you can see it just like this doing single crochets all the way around till we get to our stitch marker. down as you can tell it's already starting to flip a little bit I don't know if you can see that but it, it is starting to okay so just keep going okay we're in our last one so we're gonna pull out our stitch marker We're gonna put that one right there. And then we're gonna put our stitch marker right back where we had it, okay? Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. As you can tell, it's already starting to bend right there. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to do one round of increases. Now, if you're making a larger hat, you're gonna probably want a bigger brim so you may have to do a couple more rows than what I'm doing for the brim. Um, but right now I'm just trying to, again, untangle this crazy yarn. Because I really want to show you guys how to do the brim. But it is a mess. And I think with me pulling on it for the video has just made it worse. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut it, which I would normally never do, but I'm going to do that today. And I'm just going to knot it off. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm totally off camera here, but I had to cut it because it knotted. I normally would never do this. This is <laughs> not something you should ever do, but I'm going to bring this in just for the sake of the video. Normally you would have to work in a new yarn into the actual thing but I'm just going to make a knot to get rid of the knot that I had because I want y'all to um, see how to finish this brim. So I'm just making a quick knot here. Okay, and I pulled really tight because um, especially with a witch's hat or anything when you're doing aragami, which is what they call this when you're making small stuff, um, you can see those little knots. So don't do this at home. <laughs> I'm only doing it for the sake of the video. Because see where I tied it in? It's going to stay in place, but it leaves a pretty big knot there. Um, I think there's other ways you can do it to make it better, but I don't know how. So anyway, so we, we already did the one where we worked just through the front loop. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do an increase um, all the way around. So to do that, that means we're going to go into our next stitch. And we're going to go through both. We're not working through the back or the front now, just through both. And we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around, okay? That is all we're going to do. Just two stitch, two single crochets in each stitch around. And then it's really going to stand out. And what you're doing is you're increasing, causing it to go out even more. 
make more of a loop, a lip there. And you see that? That's where I tied that in. That's why that's a big no-no. But just for the sake of the video, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna repeat myself <laughs> two in each stitch around two single crochets till you get back to your stitch marker and if you are making this bigger as you can see this is what it looks like this is all we're going to do is the two stitches around and then we're gonna be done besides I'm gonna show you how to fix this top part right here but if you're making a bigger one um, obviously you would want a bigger brim so you would just keep doing um, increases um, you would increase and then you would do another round of just single crochets and you might increase again and do another round of single crochets for the brim um, you just have to kind of try it on and see as you go how big you want the brim to be okay We're almost at our stitch marker. And I'm going to show you how to finish this witch's hat off. Okay, so we're going to pull our stitch marker out. We're going to put our last two single crochets in our last stitch. Okay, and that's what it looks like. And you've made a witch's hat. And that's so cute okay now as you can see it looks you can tell that there's a little bit of a space there from where we finished and where we started because we're working in the round so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into my next stitch after I'm done there and I'm gonna do a slip stitch okay then I'm going to now if you're making this for the doll that I'm gonna make later you need to leave quite a bit of yarn before you cut off because you will need to sew that onto the doll's head so we're just going to pull through, pull our yarn through, and as you can see, that slip stitch helped to even that out, okay? And now I'm going to tell you about this little piece right here. <laughs> to get this in, you just want to pull on it just a little bit. This is why we're, look at that, see? Just pull on it just a little bit, and it will cause that to go back down in. And then you can just, when we put this on the doll's head, or you put it on your head. <laughs> if you're gonna be making this for an adult or a child or someone, then you would want to sew this part in on the inside here. Okay, but for our witch's head, we're just going to press it back in and then it will just sit just like this on top of the doll, okay? Just like that. So that's what it looks like. That little piece right there is where we made that knot and that's why you never do knots but just for the sake of the video, we did it this time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, these are really fun to make, and I've made one, um, a big, big one before, and they turn out really cool. Um, so if you make these um, with for the doll or for anyone, please show me pictures. I love to see them. I've been getting a lot of pictures from my Facebook and my YouTubers and um, subscribers, and I just love to see those. So if you can, shoot me a picture. If you have any questions, like I said before, don't hesitate to ask. Just comment um, on Facebook, comment below, and on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for watching, and soon we're going to learn how to make this great little witch with her little broom. Y'all have a great day. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye. Oh, when you're gone cold as it is long And the earth that made you humble won't write about 
is love that made you crumble from the inside out. I believe in a new day to come that is always darkest before the dawn.